This is probably one of my favorite subjects to talk about because limestone and, well, shells, I should say, are all over the beach. And uh, if you walk barefoot, you can have the pleasure of having a sharp shell stick you right in the foot. And that always feels pretty good. And, uh, calcium carbonate, you have an oxygen, a carbon, an oxygen, an oxygen, and a calcium uh, constituent. Here's a double bond, and here are two single bonds. It's chemical uh, formula CaCO3. Um, it can be found in seashells, coral reefs, and basically limestone deposits, which are really old coral reefs and seashells, as you'll see as I talk about this. Um, calcium carbonate is used for agricultural lime, road gravel when it's in rocks, and uh, it's an ingredient for Portland cement. It makes cement really, really strong, or cement, and then you have concrete, which is the gravel added to the cement. But, um, all right, now I wrote a paper up on this because, well, I wanted to express it in the best way I could and you know hold it there for future reference. But basically, if you have a large limestone deposit, it's because earlier during the Earth's uh, formation, I mean, not formation, but evolution, the Earth had much deeper oceans. Plus, the Earth was completely covered in water, guaranteed. But when the water started to evaporate back into interstellar space from the ionizing radiation of a host star, maybe the sun, possibly a different star, because the Earth orbited a different star in its past, maybe like five or six different stars, to be honest with you, uh, there was water covering everything, okay? Now, the reef's location had to be in a good location to where, you know, it was deep enough to where the reef would be protected and it could get a lot of uh, um, sunlight and a lot of nutrients would flow around in this area. And it wouldn't be, you know, too deep to where it couldn't, you know, form because it's obviously not getting any sunlight and a lot of the um, life wouldn't be, uh, it would be hospitable if it was too deep. But basically, when the water evaporates into interstellar space, the coral will slowly grow and reproduce and move down deeper and deeper into the ocean. And as the water evaporates, for instance, if this water would evaporate, okay, and that water level would uh, continuously drop, that means the coral reef would be down here. And it would keep on growing down here. And then this would end up as limestone, which would be subject to weathering, constant erosion, and then you know, further cementation when other material would deposit on top of it, burying it, and then compacting it even more, making oh, limestone. But there you have it, and the coral reef will continue growing deeper and deeper. So if you have a limestone formation somewhere, chances are organisms created that limestone, which then died and then left the deposits left over. And one thing I really noticed, one ironic thing I should say, is that it's ironic how calcium carbonate is not considered organic in nature, yet it's formed by organisms. And oil and natural gas is considered organic, yet it's formed abiotically, meaning without organisms. Now, I know there are a lot of people that say, oh, it's fossil fuels, it's uh, dead plant and animal matter. No, it's not. Oil and natural gas were formed abiotically. There was no need to have organisms forming it. And we know this because late evolution stars, such as Uranus and Neptune, even Jupiter and Saturn, have methane in their atmospheres. Yet, not a single living organism is up there. So how is it there's methane, which is a main component of natural gas, on those, star on those evolving stars in very, very large amounts? This stuff shouldn't exist because according to establishment science, these are organic in nature. They're not organic. If anything, calcium carbonate could be considered organic because number one, 
has carbon in it and oxygen, mind you, and it's formed by organisms. So I thought I'd just point that out to you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and link this paper to the bottom of this page. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below.